All right, guys, that was all the tomatoes. So uh, let's go on to the hot peppers. All right, this is the Tabasco pepper plant. This is the biggest one. So when a, uh, find a red one. When they're red like this, just come off like that. But very hot. We got the house light shining on us, so that should help. I've had this pepper plant, it was small. And then it grew. Hopefully there's frogs everywhere. So the first time I picked all the peppers, including the green ones, I had about a couple hundred of the three plants. But Tabasco, come down here. That's how many stems there are. One, two, three, four, five, about five. Um, maybe four, so quite a bit of stems. I just put in all the, uh, I was gonna say aquariums, but all the peppers, lemongrass and stuff, put some compost, and I leveled out the cow manure compost too with that. So when I put all that fertilizer down over time, especially when I put the compost from the compost bin, it made a lot of leaves like that and fall off. No one really wants to fall off, but yeah. This is the other Tabasco pepper plant. The other Tabasco is about seven foot high with a stake. This one's about the same and one's in a couple spots. Very productive this season. Probably harvested a thousand plus of peppers from these three plants here. So I bought these at Walmart, figures, two years ago, two and a half years ago. Coming over here, I could stop the camera, but we're already here. Um, another Tabasco, this one's just not as big, but this limb here is pretty big, which would reach up there if the stake was in there properly. But, very hot peppers. So if I pick a lot of them for neighbors or friends, I'll just pick the green ones and then, which I haven't done in a while, but I have a whole bags in the freezer. And then I'll sometimes just pick the hot peppers. But if you pick them all at the same time, even the green ones, you'll get more production. So there's only one stem on this, so you can see it's smaller. Coming over here. So this, uh, hot, or, uh, I haven't had, I haven't eaten one in a while. Uh, Tabas, what is it? Jalapeno pepper plant. There was two here once when I made it. I cut it back, and this is what came up. So we got uh, two peppers on there now. Should be good. Another jalapeno pepper plants. It's got a little fruit production. Not much. It almost passed away with all the rest of them. But this is what's strong. All right. So this is another. There's three peppers here. There's a bell pepper, a jalapeno, and a sweet pepper, which I don't know if the sweet pepper made it. But purple, bell, a little bit of jalapeno, quite a bit on this one. This one gets lots of water from the eggplant and shade from the sun, which can be beneficial if it's really hot. But yeah. So this is the habanero pepper. I've had this one for two and a half years. I overwintered it. We'll have to go through that again. But what you can see, some yellow leaves coming off. That's from the fertilizer, I'm guessing. So those come off and new growth comes up. You can just touch them and fall off. But I also leveled all the ones I didn't, the compost from the trash cans that I made. And then I just leveled with the manure and cow manure and compost with the bag. That's habanero. I haven't harvested it a lot this year. Another jalapeno pepper plant. Not much to see here. Some new growth coming up from the from the stems and stuff after I pruned it and fertilized it. So that's good. 
So this is the Daldea, something like that, four or five letter word, hot pepper. That one I could probably just take off by hand. It's ripen, the hottest. So there were four or five, or five. One didn't make it through extensive heat after transplanting to the ground. But there's four here. A little bit of basil down there for bugs or anything. There's a frog in there. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, this makes hot sauce too, this type. Which I, I moved all my mint buckets around. Just to get them more sunlight. Ooh, that's my shoe. With the shorter days or so. And this is all new growth. Nice and green. This had a bucket right here, so it was drying out real fast. We leveled that. And then there's some other ones through there. I could rip it off and show. But Daldea, I call it.